Hello and welcome to the garden where today I'm going to show you how to harvest your basil in a way that will keep it growing and producing all season long. So let's get clipping. For harvesting you're going to need a pair of pruners and some kind of basket or other bucket whatever you have to collect your snippets of basil in. If you don't have a pair of pruners, you can just use a regular pair of scissors, but make sure they're kind of heavy duty because the basil stems are a little thick and you'll need a good amount of uh, power to cut through them. This is my basil here. I don't grow a lot of basil every year. Uh, if I decide I need to make some pesto, I'll usually just go to the farmer's market and get a, a bundle of basil from one of my local growers. But I do like to have enough fresh basil around to come out and get a sprig or two for something that I might be cooking. Let's get a little bit of a close up here. This basil here is your basic Genovese basil. It's the kind you see in the grocery store and what most people use for making pesto and other things like that. What you'll notice is that I have cut this and where I've cut it, it has branched out into a couple of more branches. This right here is your flower stalk and you will notice that it's almost out of these little white flowers. So each one of these whorls here has a flower on it. It's about ready to start making some seed. This bud right here is a baby flower that's just starting from the new branch that came out after I first harvested this. The most important thing to do when harvesting your basil is to make sure that these flowers don't go all the way to seed. The purpose of a plant is to make seed. And once it does that, it doesn't have the need to keep growing for much longer. It's served its purpose, especially a basil plant, which is an annual plant. Okay, see that little moth right there? That's one of those moths that eat your broccoli and stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So in order to harvest this, I'm going to come in. The first thing I want to do is take off this flowering top and just get rid of that. That's already gone too far to seed. I don't want that. It's going to be hard and not very good to eat. So here you can see where I harvested this last time. There's the little tip. So the important thing when you're harvesting, if you want to keep your basil, is I'm, I want to take off this piece right here. I could cut it right here. It's a nice, beautiful piece. But now I've got this huge stem sticking up that is going to do absolutely nothing. The plant can't use it anymore. It doesn't have any leaves attached to it. So what I really want to do is take it all the way off. I've got this other nice one. So I'm going to take that all the way off too. Okay, so I have cut all of the basil that I want to take into my kitchen. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just trim off all of these flower heads again to keep my basil from going to seed and that way it will continue putting on more fresh growth. So in this case I'll come up here on this tall one and I'll take it down just to where the next set of leaves is coming out. Pluck those little guys off and these ones still look good. I'll leave them. I'm going to come over here, cut off that seed head, just toss it aside, come back here. You can see how this flower head here is coming up. I'm gonna trim that, trim that, and trim that. 
And again, you'll notice that where I trimmed it, I went all the way down to the where the next set of leaves was coming out. I did not leave any big chunk of stem sticking out. So that's it, super easy. Just follow these two tips to keep your basil doing well all summer long. Number one, make sure you cut off any of the flower stalks before they go to seed. And number two, when you harvest your basil, don't leave any big stems sticking up. Cut it all the way down to where the next set of leaves is coming out. Do that and you'll have a healthy basil plant providing you with delicious herb all season long. So until then, make sure you get out into the garden and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.